So yeah, after all that, it is now a week later, and after dealing with all that stuff and also having to go to work during the week, I'm now a week late on this video. But since I didn't get any footage from the actual show, or I got a little bit of footage, but that'll be in a minute. Um, but since I didn't really get the footage I wanted from the show, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show off what I got at the National Reptile Breeders Expo. Uh, first up, we're going to see if this guy's going to cooperate with us. He's a little sassy. I got, oh, come here, come here, come here. I got a spotted python, which hopefully the camera will focus on here. And this is a line. Ow! Oh, yep, he's not going to cooperate. So, spotteds are a little... Ah, feisty when they're little and they're prone to doing silly things like this. Um, this is Cerberus. I've had him for about a week now and he will generally hand be handleable the first time but the second time I pick him up uh, he typically decides that once was enough and that ow, 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 ow. Uh, once was enough and that now fingers are food Come on, Cerberus, let me go. Let me go, buddy. Okay. Okay, there you go. Um, I'm going to put you away before you do that again. I'll go ahead and put you down. So yeah, that is a spotted python. Uh, kind of a curiosity piece. Um, I'll try and show it off later if he'll cooperate. But he has a stripe down his back, with it, which is an aberrant pattern. Uh, which is kind of why I picked him up, and I've also kind of wanted one for a while. Uh, Spotteds are an Australian python, and they typically only get to be about two and a half or three feet long, so they're usually pretty manageable, but as you can see, uh, when they're little, they're a little, uh, a little feisty. Um, maybe he's just hungry. Uh, I fed him on Monday. He is due for his meal tomorrow. In fact, I'll be feeding everybody tomorrow. But, so, yeah, that's Cerberus, my new spotted python. We're off to a great start. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find my other snake. And this is actually his full setup. These, everybody has full setups uh, in my reptile area, but this is actually just this guy's setup. And I just, since I keep them in bins, I can just move them. <coughs> and this is my... Mexican Black King snake, courtesy of Dynasty Reptiles. Um, come on, come on. Focus, do the thing. Okay. And so this is a Mexican Black King. Uh, his name is Noche. He's a boy. I have a female Mexican Black King who will hopefully be breeding with him someday. Um, oh, there we go. So, yep, this is just the male for my female. Um, I got them from the Dynasty Reptiles booth. Uh, these guys have really exploded in value lately. Um, they are, they went from something like, you know, $90, maybe $100 on a bad day, uh, to being well over $200, basically over the last three months. And I actually managed to snag this guy from Dynasty Reptiles, who's a pretty big breeder down here, for about $150. So he was definitely a deal, and hopefully in a year or two, he'll be fathering some sons and daughters that we can hopefully ride the boom on 
Hopefully it wouldn't have crashed by then. But yeah, he is obviously much more calm. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put him back. But yeah, that is my Mexican Black King Snake. And so, saving the best for last, I have, this is actually my girlfriend's first snake. This is Sunny. He is a banana lemon blast ball python. And for those of you who don't know, uh, that is a banana pastel pinstripe, which is why you can see the... Uh, the very thin patterning on his back and if you didn't already know what those meant I probably just threw more jargon at you so uh, there's that but he is only a couple months old he's going to be the breeder to my two female ball pythons hopefully again in a year or two and uh, we're still getting him used to handling he's still really young <clears throat> pardon me he's still really young so we are going to uh, be handling him very often to get him more used to uh, being out and being shown off. So that's what I picked up at the show, plus this fantastic, uh, come on, let me go, this fantastic <laughs> horn toad t-shirt for the show. Uh, my first one, this was my first National Reptile Breeders Expo. Um, and that's everything I got. Uh, so just enjoy a few minutes of what little footage I was able to put together. Uh, and then at the end, uh, I will be back and I will show you what I got after the show. So that was what little I 
did manage to catch on the one day we were there, uh, which is by no means a representative sample of what even was at the show. There was so much that I didn't take video of. It was honestly really overwhelming. You know, after we got the message that we were going to have to go back early and I wasn't going to have a chance to go back and film more, uh, we kind of just decided to see the whole thing and to get in as much as possible. But unfortunately, that didn't include, you know, getting any real footage. But so I did promise I was going to come back and talk about what I got after the show. Uh, my local reptile store actually had these two um, that I got as a breeding pair. And they had, uh, they had them right before I left. And then I told the guy that this is what I was looking for and that I was, I was in the market for them. And he was like, hey, man, you know. If you don't see anything at the show, I have these in the back. And so he actually had, this is the male. He's being a little clamp. He wants to come out and say hi to the camera. Uh, this is the male. This is a Conda albino hognose. Um, he's being a little squirmy. I'll get a close up in a second. But this is a so tiny. Like if you've never seen hognose babies before, he's only like maybe two months old, he's absolutely tiny. Uh, and he's only gonna get maybe like two, three, two-ish feet long. He's not gonna get very big at all. Um, but he just has this beautiful conda patterning in the red on his back and really cool animal. So I'm gonna put him away and, oh, he's trying to dig through my fingers. I'm gonna put him away. And again, this is just their setup uh, that I have from my reptile area um, and they just go in here they just dig around in the aspen all day i've got holes drilled in the side uh, everybody gets water everyone gets everything they need and then this this is the female and she's actually out let's see if she's gonna cooperate oh oh you're gonna hood up on me aren't you yeah she's hooding up she for some reason doesn't mind when i dig her out of her aspen but if she's up top and i come and get her she gets all kinds of mad uh, so she's going to be all squirmy on camera. This is just a normal red albino hog nose. Um, she's whipping around a little bit. Uh, again, she's only maybe a couple weeks older than uh, her partner. And you can already see that she's already considerably bigger. And she'll probably be fully grown about twice his size. Um, probably going to take her a little bit longer to put it on. Uh, I need to look up more on the breeding of these guys, but if it's anything like all the other snakes that I have, it's going to be another two, three years before she's ready to start breeding. Um, so yeah, the, that is my trip, uh, as it was, to the uh, National Reptile Breeders Expo in Daytona. Uh, so if you enjoyed this at all, and this is a first video, so it's probably really rough and probably no one enjoyed it at all, but if you did and you want to follow me along uh, as I build my collection and start taking steps towards, you know, actually breeding and just seeing all other kinds of cool stuff in the reptile world that South Florida has to offer, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.